Did you know that packaging, bins, and pallets are commonly reused between farms, states, and even different countries? Any transfer of objects and goods into your farm could be a potential source of contamination. This video will present ways in which you can reduce your risk of bringing pests and disease in through packaging, bins, and pallets. My name is Simon Boo. I work for KM Vegetables. Our family-owned business has been in the industry for about 20 odd years now. Uh, we main Asian vegetables and recently started doing lettuce. So biosecurity is important to us as, you know, we want to make sure those input leaves our farm in the safest and highest quality uh, possible. So our business typically used uh, the 84 litres, 22 litres, and we use pallets. Uh, we store our crates and whatnot in a separate area from the production site, just to ensure it's away from you know, all the soil or sand that gets brought in from the fields. Typically at the start of any day, we only bring out what's kind of an expected number required of it. If we need more, we will get more. We just ensure that it's still as safe and away as possible from all the soil and whatnot um, up until the use. It's the supplier are in charge of, you know, make sure the crates are clean once they're sent out. Once the crates you know, arrive to our farm, we hit them with a high pressure hose um, just to make sure they're clean of any debris or whatnot that has come along the way. It is just a safety precaution. Obviously, we do trust our suppliers, um, but I guess the risk, it's always gonna be a small percentage. When it comes to us, we just wanna be sure that we're doing the right thing. In the event of a biosecurity hazard appearing on our farm, you know, it would heavily impact our business. I would believe, you know, sales would come to a halt. You know, it would be very difficult. We would potentially go through a quarantine period. It will be quite detrimental to the business. After watching the videos in this series, take the time to review your farm's biosecurity measures. Identify which pathways you are controlling well and which may require more attention. Create a biosecurity plan for your property. Through some simple steps and small changes, you can cost-effectively improve your on-farm biosecurity and reduce the risk to your business. And we are here to help. If you need any further information or would like to discuss how you can improve your farm's biosecurity, please contact Vegetables WA, the Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development, or Ausveg. By working together, we can create a sustainable vegetable industry.